pop the locker and take me to Charlestown. <laughs> I have a crew prepare the doors for landing. <laughs> He might have been even flying a 747 at one stage. This is your captain <laughs> speaking. Uh, Apollo Central, Black Rhino, you got key with it. Uh, he might have a dislocated elbow. Might bring down the whistle. Copy that, Jay. Chappers en route. Alex is a backpacker on holiday from Italy. His first go at body surfing ended with a dislocated elbow. No, no, I'm here at all. Yaxi Spanish is the next best thing to Italian. Lifeguards break out the green whistle, a powerful analgesic. Dislocations can be excruciatingly painful. A long way from home and in extreme pain, Alex gets agitated. After a few minutes on the green whistle, Alex's mood suddenly lightens. <laughs> They're good, those green whistles, aren't they? <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Italy, man. Yeah. I think he was just high. Don't, you know, he forgot about his injury. <laughs> he started gibbering in Swahili, you know, a bit of Japanese, I think. A bit of French, Italian, English, Spanish. He was all over the place after that. But the main thing was that it took his mind off his, off his pain. Pete's shoulder can only be relocated if his muscles are relaxed. And that means lots of green whistle. In free mouth, out free nose. Just try and relax as much as you can. Just let it go floppy. Keep breathing this. Yeah, for a lot. See where you did, see. We're back for AK rifle, someone die. Band on deep like the speed rope there. <laughs> oh. Man, man, I love Australia. You, you, can you, you just, what you need to do is you need to just try and relax. I think he was quite interested in uh, in escaping reality, maybe for a bit, just to get rid of that pain. Just tell me, when are you gonna do it? Give me the four, three, two, one, and then slap me in the face, and I'll respect it. Don't really do it like that anymore. The green whistle is meant to relax Pete's muscles. Right now, the only thing being relaxed is his head. I'll show, I'll show, I'll show. As his shoulder refuses to budge, lifeguards recommend a second dose of the green whistle. Do you ever think, does he need another toe? He does. And then just relax that left shoulder if you can. Just relax it. Just Sitting relax. Up, hold it in, hold it in. Deep breaths. And just worry about your posture and your... Just relax. Just relax. Just relax. Just relax. The paramedic was trying all he could to get him to calm that shoulder down, but he just couldn't do it. What's he doing? Is he not relaxing it? It's pretty, he's pretty tight. Yeah, in right. His arms. Yeah. Even after two yeah, doses Peter. of the legendary yeah, green whistle, Pete's shoulder won't budge. Not looking like we're going to make it today, Pete. Had a good go. Okay, I can't sit here and attempt to reduce it all day. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to organise a transport up to the hospital. In the end, for Peter, it was a worst case scenario. The ambulance officer couldn't get his shoulder back into place and he was off the hospital. What's your pain out of 10 at the moment? Out of 10, I'd say 7 to 8. 7 to 8, okay. 7.7. 77%. But no, he's done well. Yeah. Champion. Straight off the insane to the island. Well done, mate. Thank you. Well done. Cheers for your help, guys. You know, we gave him a few green whistles and he was bit off his head for a little while. You right? <laughs> this is good. This stuff is <laughs> sick. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Tell the ambulance people to take their time. Just <laughs> tell them to take their time. This is fine for now. <laughs> Ordinarily, dislocated shoulders are treated in hospital. Hang in there. Today, though, Jill, an extended care paramedic, has come to put Ollie's shoulder back in place at the tower. 
Ollie is administered with morphine in preparation for the procedure. I've got a rush to the head now, so yeah. <laughs> it's going to be like a double rush to the head after this. Oh, that is slightly painful. Oh, naughty. Leslie, do you have a spare cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the funny thing is that there was no one in the room called Leslie and he doesn't even smoke cigarettes, so he was out there. <laughs> I've seen the Ambos take about five or six times to get an ink, but look, they have to be very patient to do that job. Let me take the weight of your left arm here. I'll set it to try and put it in your mouth. Even though Ollie has been given morphine, and methoxyflurane, the pain will be unbearable if something goes wrong. Oh, Jill makes her final attempt. You could see in his face that it went back in and that he was out of pain. As the painkillers wear off, Ollie learns about some of his strange mutterings whilst under the influence of the green whistle. He was a bit shocked when we asked him, you know, who was Leslie and why did he want a cigarette? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I said this? Leslie, do you have a spare cigarette? <laughs> I was meant to meet someone today called Leslie, but I didn't even smoke. <laughs> so, half, half of it was right, but the rest was just crazy. Just leave it like that there and just keep sucking on that whistle. The green whistle contains methoxyflurane, which relieves pain and can also deliver a feeling of euphoria. <laughs> What's your thumb? Oh, your thumb? What's your thumb? Hey, we're worried about your thumb. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> What's your thumb? She sat next to me and kind of put her leg up on my leg and made herself comfortable, which I didn't mind. <laughs> Jesse, how do you know my name? You told me. <laughs> <laughs> you told me. I didn't do it my name. No, yes, you told me. Yeah, the green whistle had a, a pretty funny effect on her. Um, I went from about a two before she had the whistle to about a ten by the end of it. another child to pick up. The extended care paramedic arrives to relocate Martine's thumb. <gasps> Keep on the whistle. Ah! Oh, nothing happened. Unfortunately, it didn't go back in, so she had to go to hospital. <laughs> the car ride would have been funny for the Ambo driver, I tell you that. She was a character. The dose of the green whistle has failed to dull the pain. Now, so we're going on the second methoxy. The second green whistle starts to take effect. Well, that is the, you're the missus picking me up from there. Speedy had been putting all this time and effort into this bloke to get him healthy, and it turns out he's only trying to get healthy, so the guy could go and take for his missus. My missus, I hope not. She's pretty short. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like an interesting story. Then what Jeez. happened? <laughs> Obviously, this bloke, he was two whistles deep. He was letting his imagination get the best of him. Nice. Yeah. When the paramedics eventually arrived, you know, it only took a quick assessment of the guy and, and they realised that he needed further medical help. We'd looked after this bloke as, as much as we could and he just needed to get to hospital and 
be seen by a surgeon. Extra dry for you, Norman. Phil. For me. Brian. Cheers. Thanks, boys. Thanks, yeah, Phil. Yeah, probably all good. Mate, if this bloke legitimately had a crack at Beardy's missus, I think Beardy would be single pretty quick. That's where he's had the green whistle before, previous injuries, and I think he wanted it pretty quick. Danny is given analgesic gas to soothe the pain until paramedics arrive. Oh, geez, that eases the pain, doesn't it? Yeah. You get a bit lightheaded, just stop it, and some really big, deep breaths. I just hope I get a good surgeon that can, he knows what he's doing now. Yeah, you know what? Put it back in. He was, uh, he was a definitely a unique character, and, you know, he had plenty to say. I'll be your name already. Yeah, Daniel. But everyone, Daniel. Everyone Daniel, called, Danny. Yeah, everyone calls me Beardy, but... Beardy? Beardy, yeah. Yeah, Beardy, but... Like, yeah, I'm Gady. Yeah, Gady. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was kind of enjoying himself in the end. I was, he was making us laugh anyway. Jeez, I like the freebie I'm getting. <laughs> what a freebie. It's costing me nothing. <laughs> yee! <Yeah. laughs> you take it for granted, the, the premier beach in the world. Yeah. Hey? Yeah, this is what it's about. You got the best view of it right here. Best beach in the world, mate. Australia, the best country in the world. God bless Australia. A strength, advance Australia Square. As paramedics arrive, the green whistle has Danny loving life and flying high. Hey, brother, uh, how are you? This is good. Thanks, Lucky. All right, that's Lucky. Lucky? Yeah. Jeez, it's my lucky day. Stefan's on a working holiday from Canada. He dislocated his shoulder learning to surf. How old are you? Uh, 22. 22. Yeah. You allergic to anything? No. Nope. Ambulance, please. Dislocated shoulders are excruciatingly painful. Maxi prepares the green whistle to take the edge off Stefan's pain. Suck on it. OK. It gets better, but it gets, it gets better. It's very strong. As if you're smoking. <laughs> but the pain will start to go away. You start to get a bit lightheaded. Okay. <laughs> Just suck them in. <laughs> I see you smoke before. <laughs> Feel a bit better? Yeah, actually. Where do you get this stuff? <laughs> I feel a little bit selfish. You guys want some? <laughs> yeah. 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 Keep sucking it, mate. It's good, eh? It's good stuff. Good stuff, man. It's good stuff. Usually I can put it back on, but yeah, like, but don't try, mate. During the first try. five minutes, uh, the paramedic will come and they'll uh, they'll help you out. Yeah. Right. Stefan's so shoulder will be relocated in hospital, but he doesn't seem in any hurry to get there. How did you hurt your shoulder, Stefan? This time I was on the beach. There, uh, there was like uh, uh, no waves. Yes. But once upon a time came a wave. I was like, this is mine. Started to paddle. I paddled in the, you know when you, you paddle the... Uh, like, you know, your quarter wave needs the same bar, did you? No, it's just uh, because my first, it's my first time. Uh, just, yeah, just tell me how you hurt your shoulder. You hit the sandbar. No, I, I, I paddled and like uh, the wave went <laughs> popping it out, you know? The wave. The wave was behind me. I was paddling, paddling yeah. for the wave and, and it, it hit out. my uh, arm. And uh, this arm is uh, has been dislocated for uh, nine times. Nine times, and it's happened again. Have you got thongs? You want to come jump up, and we'll take you up to the ambulance. I don't wear thongs. Thongs okay. is for women. <laughs> no worries at all. Okay, Stefan. Stefan. A dislocated shoulder we'll the hospital, okay? and a discombobulated brain. Yeah. And just get in front and sit on chair. Twenty minutes. Corey offers methoxyfluorine to reduce the pain. Just yeah. to breathe normally, like. Like an asthma puffer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep your finger on that. Oh, that's how I You'll car a, there, so... A bigger yeah. dose on it. One leg's, like, curved and the other leg's just fine. So I think it is broken. Take it out when you're breathing out. <laughs> you need to keep going with it. Yeah. In no time. James has other things on his mind. Uh, well, uh, virtually stop. Yeah, it just hit me hard. Yeah. 
Who's really loving this? You're loving it more than us. It's like you're loving another one. <laughs> what was that? 20 seconds? That's really good. I think, I think that's a record. That's awesome. Can you feel that anymore? Not really. I want to go for, run for a marathon. <laughs> this gentleman is reacting very well. Man, this just, oh. I'm out of it, aren't I? I'm just, in a bit. He was definitely in a world of pain when he was on the beach and then giving them a foxy. And probably within about 20 or 30 seconds, he was just high as a kite. And he, I think he wants another one, but he's not allowed, so. How good everybody's going to be here. 15-year-old Jack crashed on his BMX while getting air in the Bondi skate park. He may have dislocated his shoulder. Definitely come all the way out, yeah? Sure. Yeah. Right. Bobby, a part-time lifeguard and full-time paramedic, is in charge. We're going to give you this first, all right? So that'll take a bit of the pain away. Then we'll sit you up, all right? And then you're going to call an ambulance. Mate, well, we have to, yeah. Right, he's passing out of hospital. Well, who's going to put it in for you? Your mum and dad can't do it, mate. We can't do it. I'm not here with my mum and dad, though. Yeah, all right, mate. You've got to go to Aussie, all right? No, nah. do I look like a man that's got a sense of humour? Oh. <laughs> Don't move. This will take a bit of the pain away and we'll keep you comfortable until the ambos get here. Yeah. Dislocations are notoriously painful. Take some deep breaths into this nice. Jack is administered the green whistle. Keep it in your mouth and breathe through it slowly. A fast acting analgesic that can also induce euphoria. It's his left shoulder, conscious, breathing. He's actually in good spirits. He's just sucking on the whistle now. Before I get in here, I don't pain in there at all. Bobby and Dunno prepare to immobilise Jack's arm. Someone's going to support his arm and I'll support his neck. I'm just going to keep this straight. Yep. Oh, oh you're tripping me. Just relax. Oh, this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. Oh. You've got no pain down here at all. <laughs> no. No? <laughs> The green whistle is self-administered, but sometimes a little too well. Ease up on that a bit. With Bike Buddy in tow, Jack's off to hospital to have his shoulder put back in. Bobby and Dunno look after the boys' bikes and show how BMX riding should be done. Chapo and I head up to the skate park. When we get there, we notice this poor little kid right in the bottom of the bowl, and you could quite clearly see that his elbow was dislocated. Our first concern is to get him some pain relief. Hey, little man, this is um, not going to taste very nice, okay. but I need you to breathe it in. OK, just breathe on it, just lock it like a whistle. Yeah. The green whistle delivers methoxyflurane, an analgesic gas. It does tend to calm things down. His mum was there, I had Maddie D there as well. And it makes it a lot easier for us to move him in as little pain as we can. He's getting the green whistle as we speak, but, yeah, it's a bad one. OK, copy that. So do you require for an embo? Absolutely. Copy that, thank you. How are you feeling, buddy? You feeling a bit better? <laughs> That's great. We're just going to get you out of the bowl. What Basically, I'll do, can we get in, Mum? You right? that towel? Better. You've got to figure out the easiest way of moving him and restricting their pain. And Wood is lucky enough this time was only a little kid and it was quite easy, this one, to get him out. Ready? One, two, three. It's just two days before Christmas, and Billy risks spending it in hospital. There you go, mate. This is his first accident, that? like first proper accident, so he might be having a bit of time off. <laughs> I'm not sure. He's meant to be going up to Byron on Boxing Day for a week, and then we're going down the south coast straight after that, me and him and the others. <laughs> it's just bad timing. He lost a tooth today, too. We gave him the green whistle, and this dude was just cruising like nothing had ever happened. 
Do you remember what you did, Billy, how you fell? Do you? What happened? Were you dropping in here at this end? Where were you dropping in? Kick turning and I fell off. You kick turned where? At this whereabouts? Down there? Deep end. At the deep end. The new story is you busted an air, you did a you did a 720 in the air, <laughs> and then you nearly landed it, but you landed in the flat. So that's the story, alright? And all the girls are watching. Yeah, yeah. They're still watching. There's girls everywhere, but just relax. Yeah, we were just hoping for his sake that young Billy didn't have to spend Christmas in hospital. Billy underwent emergency surgery. He had pins inserted into his elbow to keep the bone in place. After 30 hours in the hospital, he made it home on Christmas Eve. Mathis from Germany has dislocated his shoulder in the shore break. The wife hit me back and like this low, I don't know, just lowered my shoulder shoulder. Lifeguards administer the legendary green whistle. How does it feel? Is that is that helping? This, this is amazing. This is amazing. That's what we want to hear. All right. On his way to the tower, the Orange Army give Mathis a backpacker's salute. Airbase on its way. Just keep stuck on it, vessel, mate. How you going? Sorry, it's really busy out here, but hey, how you going? Hold on. Stop. Stop. Yeah, yeah, keep sucking on it. And try and get rid of the pain. The ambo's on its way. Just uh, pretty busy too. No worries, you got like all the crazy Holland people out there. Just sit up straight like you're in a school photo. Up, 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 keep breathing. Well done. Put it back in place if that's correct with you. You can't imagine if it's fractured there. No. In the tower, it's crunch time. So keep breathing, that's the way, that's the way. Keep breathing in and out, in and out. There you are, pull back in, there you are. Nice and sweet friends, that's the way. Good job. Well done, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. Holland, it's legal to smoke weed. Yeah. You got this back. Yeah. It's not legal, it's not legal. <laughs> When I first hear I instantly felt like a shooting pain. Jethro's shoulder is dislocated. Jeff's popped his shoulder coming off the ski. Serious ligament or tendon damage could spell the end of his season. Pain out of 10 was 10 for sure. Once you look down and you see that your like, shoulder's sticking out here and it's all mangled, it definitely gets worse. Whistle me up, baby. Come on, get the whistle. Yeah. Lifeguards normally administer pain-killing gas to injured beachgoers. Get the finger over it, mate. Today, it's Jethro that will get a taste of the green whistle. Nah, good, 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 good. Keep sucking, keep sucking, keep sucking. The green whistle seems to affect everyone in such a diverse way, and Jethro not being too big of a guy, it affected him quite quickly. Pop the locker and take me to Charlestown. <laughs> I have on crew prepare the doors for landing. <laughs> he might have been even flying a 747 at one stage. Since you're a captain <laughs> speaking, you would be the most gorgeous flight attendant too. Should have been a flight attendant. <laughs> Keep sucking up. Paramedics have been called. Until then, lifeguards manage Jethro's pain. This is whistle number two. After the second whistle, I have no recollection of what I said. I know I could have said anything. Paramount eel. Paramount eel. 